Well, I, um, all the time. And comedies is divided in the sort of the culture war as, as everywhere else is. Yeah, I bet it is. And so you go to some clubs and they're a bit more... You're able to say stuff and other clubs, you know, they just won't... You know, th that the famous Brexit song that I did probably got me, lost me maybe half the life work that I once had because people who are on the other side of the Brexit argument were like, I'm not having him, my, him in my club. So that goes on. That's fine. But the... I'll give you an example of something that happened two weeks ago. Just a little new material night where near where I live in, in Broccoli in South East London. Mm -hmm. And it's essential in a new material night, more than anywhere else, that you have freedom of expression because you haven't yet found the right way of wording something yet. Mm -hmm. And so inevitably, you're going you're gonna to make mistakes. You're not going to get it absolutely right. And if you don't have freedom of expression there... Yeah. Then you've got it nowhere. So this is your sort of tester. Really. This is you, yeah. Comedians all go and yeah. do new material all the time. Yeah. You, you find that those really tight, perfect routines that you see people doing on the telly. You know, they've spent many, many hours, if not weeks, if not years, getting those routines tight. You know, new material nights. Anyway, so I was doing this new material night. I was doing that routine about how ugly people aren't properly represented. They're the most discriminated against group in the media, and so on. And, and I did the line, it's not the greatest line in the world, but this was the line I did, which was that nobody's campaigning on behalf of ugly people, nobody's going round tearing down statue, statues of Adonis, crying out, ugly lives matter. Right? And that was... Do, and, and I think, it's not the funniest joke in the world, but I'm making a very important point about this group, because it doesn't matter what race, what age, but what sex... But what you're country. seeing whether this is funny. Or and, and I'm seeing whether it's funny. Yeah. And then somebody wrote into the club afterwards, I didn't feel safe. Uh, this man was making fun of Black Lives Matter. Okay. He was uh, punching down and all this stuff, which I, I really wasn't in that routine. But it's got to the point now where people just hear the words. Mm. They don't even hear the argument anywhere. They just hear trigger words. And then the guy, the poor guy books the club. He just wants a quiet life where people can come to his club and try new material. And he makes, you know, whatever he makes, 50 quid a week or something. He's suddenly got a, like a mini storm on his hands. And, and that's just an example of what's going on. So... There'll be somebody in the audience, and I imagine this happened to you all the time oh, at the BBC. Oh, I've been through it all. Yeah. 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 And, you know, people are like, why, why are they giving Nigel Farage a platform? That's right. Yeah. And, and that same argument is going on at every level. Yeah.